welcome back to my channel my name is Bianca and I run this channel called style by B and on this channel we talk about everything from fashion beauty and lifestyle if that's something that you're into please make sure you comment like subscribe and turn on your post notifications so you can see when I post videos every week let's get into this outfit like well you can't really see everything but my main the main feature is this sweater isn't it so cute like Oh, the pink. Oh, I just love it. I've had this sweater for years, probably over eight years. It's from a store called French Connection that's no longer in Toronto. What is happening? It's no longer in Toronto, but I've had this for a very long time. I've only worn it a couple of times because I just love it so much. I didn't want it to get damaged and it's a, it's harder to wear. It's not my go-to. As of late though, I've been picking up a lot more color and I'm like just happy I have this. So I don't have to go and try to find a couple bunch of new knitwear or colored pieces for my wardrobe. I have this. So I'll try to find something similar. I'll put it all in, in the description box below. Then I just paired it with some really cute jewels. This is from AliExpress. You guys know my favorite place to shop, AliExpress. And then these, these earrings are kind of everywhere. Aldo, Aldo, AliExpress, probably the Disney store. Isn't that cute? But yes, that's today's outfit. Also, I'm really getting into makeup. I want you guys to tell me how I did my makeup today. I think I did an amazing job. You guys tell me, I think, I didn't put on lashes because I just wasn't in the mood to do it today, but I did, you know, I contoured a little bit, I put the concealer, you know, the the uh, the powder, all of that, I put it on and I think it looks good. I think I did a good job. I did my eyebrows and I haven't plucked my eyebrows in a minute. I've been like super chill on the pampering because you know, there's, there's I got a lot of things to do. But, and you know, a lot of it I can do myself. Like, if I can shape my eyebrows, why do I need to go get them done? If I can do a little, you know, acrylic set, acrylic set, a little gel set here and there, why not? They're cute. It's a little, you know, a little cute and dainty. I don't have to be extra all the time, but even though this is far from what I'm used to, but I can deal with this. The little white is cute. It's cute. But yeah, tell me in the comments below how I did on my makeup. And if you have any tips for me, maybe you're like, girl, you're doing too much and you're doing too little. Let me know. All right, guys. So the first look that we're going to be uh, going over is this really cute look. It's gonna they're gonna be either here or here. You'll see that. So this bomber, it's from uh, AliExpress. I think I got it in an extra large. I get everything way bigger on AliExpress because it's Asian sizing a lot of the times. You'll know. Go by the sizing. Go by my tutorial. I will make sure I pop it up somewhere here so you guys can see what I'm talking about. But yeah, so this this jacket I got it in an extra large. Um, it's like a lightweight uh, cream color. It's like a waist length jacket. I love it. It fits amazing. It actually also um, It's pretty warm like for a lightweight jacket that I got for really cheap I love it. I've worn it in the winter like on a warmer day not you know the minus 10 days and I loved it It worked perfectly. Uh, I paired this with a two-piece that I actually got from Fashion Nova It's just like, like a turtleneck uh, it's a turtleneck, a crop turtleneck sweater shirt and matching leggings in this nude color. I love matching like, like doing like a monochromatic look or like a, you know, a neutral tone vibe. So this is what this is. And then I paired it with um, my combat boots from Not Your Average Size. I will tag them below. And I got the bag. It's from Spring. It's a, it's a Bottega dupe. But I love the combo together, the harsh dark black with the neutrals. So cute. This is definitely something that you guys can try. Next, we're gonna go into, it's actually, I have it here. Some of the pieces I put on my rack so that we could, you know, see the details of them. This vest here from Zara last season, but these are everywhere, like, these are in right now. Everybody has these trending right now. I put, I paired this vest with a uh, turtleneck that I got from Fashion Nova. White or cream is fine. And then these really nice acid wash jeans. I think they're this outfit is again super cute but super chic. Like I'd wear this to go pick up the kids once it's a bit once it's a bit warmer. Um, I love the rips. I love the how cropped the jeans are, and it just sits right by the boot. I think that's like chic and just you know f like so fashionable. Um, yeah, this this look I feel like was really cute. It's really simple. And anybody can do this look in your own way. Love it. Next we have this blazer. I actually got this blazer ugh, again. I have a lot of stuff right this blazer is old it's a vintage uh, Ralph Lauren blazer that I got at Value Village when I was in college in like 2009 or 2008 something like that old blazer but these this blazer I've seen something very similar to this at Zara um yeah just something neutral that you can kind of pair with anything uh on the bottom so I paired it with a really nice um 
heart like sweetheart neck shirt you could do a tank top like this or uh like an actual bodysuit whatever works for you just to get the vibe but i paired it with a tank top and then those camel pants that i'm in love with from aliexpress they're uh they were a bit bigger at the waist i got them taken in you'll see that in in my haul if you watch it but again pairing like a darker cool pattern with neutrals on top it's definitely spring, definitely, you know, a, the way to do it. And then I always like to add a pop of color somewhere. So that's where this orange bag comes in. This orange bag is from Zara. And the shoes I've actually, they're really old, but they're um, Adidas. I think the name of them is like the Warrior or something. They were like really in two years ago. I bought them. And I actually love the color that I bought because they're super neutral, but they have a, a hint of orange on them. And then they also have the that 3M material, which is like like reflector. Anytime I have one of them with certain like certain looks, it's just like it just tops it off the right way. I just love the the little hints in the shoe. So I really like it with this look. Again, something that you can try. The next look is oh my god. As I said, I love pink and this jacket. If you go in the description box, it will be there. It's from AliExpress. I also have it on my site. Cause girl, this, oh my God. This is one of my favorite pieces of all time. Like I need more of them. I need more. I need a white one. I need a blue. I need colors. Cause this jacket is just so warm. It's so thick. This is from AliExpress guys. Again, watch my tutorial so you guys know how to shop on AliExpress. I'm sorry if I'm looking at the wrong thing guys. I'm looking at this camera and I'm looking here. I'm new to this, but don't worry. Over time, I will definitely master this whole thing. I just hope you love what I'm teaching you today. So yeah, this jacket is from AliExpress. It is super warm. I think I got it in a, it's a, probably a double X or bigger. I'm tall, I'm, I'm like almost 5'9". I got this so that I would like that oversized look so I can you know put layers underneath it. It would have been a double X, maybe even a triple X. Sometimes they have those options. Check in the description box for your size. There's a bunch of different colors. It doesn't have to be pink, but you know, pink, pink, purples, creams are all baby blues, teals, those are all spring colors. So that's kind of why I put it in this um in this video because I feel like it works. Uh, yeah, so I paired that with a turtleneck that I got. It's actually thrifted, but I've seen a lot of these everywhere. It's a oversized turtleneck. I would probably just get a men's, like a men's um, size in the same color if you want to do this look. It's a super chill, super thin men's turtleneck that is a bit bigger. And I paired it with um, a lighter, like a light gray a light gray uh, sweatpants. I love that look. I'd also probably do it. I actually have a pair of like a like a light, sorry, like a cream colored sweatpant. I couldn't find them, so I just wore it with this uh, in the video. But um, I feel like this look in general is super cute, super neutral inside, and then you have this pop of color with this jacket. And then I also wore wore those Adidas shoes again, which have the, the hint of orange, which is why I paired it with that orange Zara bag. I love like I can't wait to actually wear this because it's. Oh, so cute. This whole look is a vibe for sure. Oh my gosh. So next we have this Kate Spade shirt. It's a sweater. Isn't this so cute? And can you guys believe I've never worn it? I'm one of those people that I'll buy something and I'm like, I have an idea in my head of how and where I want to wear it. And if I don't get to wear it like that, right, like the first time, I normally don't. Like I'll wait to wear it the way that I've envisioned it. So that's definitely why this jacket has been here like this for a while. Jacket, the sweater. But I love it. I love it. And as you can see in this um, in this video, I, I paired it with these really cute boots that I got from Just Fab. They're like those um, wide like rain boots that are in right now. I love this color with this color. I think it works perfectly. And then I paired it again, a pop of color always with this uh, pink satchel. It's old. It's a very old designer. I will uh, tag something similar in the description box. But again, I just love the pop of color with this neutral tone. And then these jeans are fashion over. I will tag those as well. Love this look. Again, I cannot wait to wear it. You guys will probably see me post this on my Instagram or my stories, something like that, because I think this is just so cute. 
So the last look is this uh, shirling jacket. It's actually from Just Fab, but they have these everywhere. I will tag, if this is still available, I will tag it in the description box below. And I'll also tag similar items if this isn't available. And then I paired it with this really cute uh, t-shirt. It's from Old Navy. Um, I love it because it has that hint of pink. For me, pink screams, pink screams um, spring. You know, pink, the lavenders, the baby blues, all of that. So I paired it in for this spring video because this is a way for you to, you know, feel like the weather's getting better and feel like you're right on trend. Add those little pops of color wherever you can. So that's why I added this t-shirt and then I paired it with these really oversized um, pants. I think they're either from Fashion Over or Misguided. I will tag them in the description box below. And then with uh, sneakers, I love Jordan 1s. I love sneakers in general, but lately it's been a Jordan 1s. I feel like, I feel like that's everybody's um, favorite right now. It's the silhouette. It's the classic, how classic they are. And the colors, they're just coming out with everything amazing right now in that shoe, and I love it. Alright guys, that's the end of this video. I hope you loved my six winter to spring transitional outfits. I hope it gives somebody some help on how to transition their pieces into this next season that we're about to love and be given looks. Looks, right? That's what's about to happen, so we gotta start somewhere, and this is how you do it. If you love this video, please make sure you comment, like, subscribe, and turn on your post notifications. Bye!